Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Whimsy, and today is a fun little get together. Um, I didn't make myself a cup of tea, but I probably should have. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the changes that I have made in my own kitchen, and hopefully they will inspire you to make similar choices. So a lot of you know that I have been working hard at taking care of myself, cleaning up my diet, uh, really t going the extra mile to eat healthier than I ever have at any other time in my life. I was one of those people that used to tell myself that I ate well uh, because I tended to eat better than the average American, but I really wasn't taking that good care of myself. Uh, one of the things that I used to do is I would eat a salad every day. I'd put some chicken on it, and then I would treat myself occasionally to something that wasn't very good for myself, but I would always tell myself that it was okay because I had eaten a large salad earlier that day. The degree of change between the way I eat now and the way I was eating a month ago is really, really dramatic. I've been studying uh, nutrition and diet for a long, long time, and I always admired people that could be vegetarian and vegan, but I just couldn't do it. Um, I always had gas, bloating, upset stomach, all those common symptoms we see uh, in people that uh, really struggle with a diet like the plant-based diet. And I tried multiple times, and I just felt terrible. I felt terrible on a, a vegan diet. I tried multiple times. I really wanted to do it. Um, I just uh, I just felt sick, quite frankly, uh, on the diet. Now, I could have given up and just said, well, you know, the science is wrong. Uh, some people can't do a plant-based diet. And I was really bummed about it because it would be great if I could eat that way. So it's, you know, better for the environment, better for coronary artery disease health prevention. Um, so I wanted to do it. I wanted to go mostly plant-based vegetarian, but I had challenges uh, with it. And then I decided to do something that I really hadn't tried before, and that was that about four weeks ago, I decided that I would pull all gluten from my diet. I just pulled all gluten, all wheat products, barley, uh, even oats I pulled from the diet, though I think that oats, there are some oats on the market that are gluten-free. So that was the big change. I pulled all gluten, I pulled all sugar, uh, with the exception of a little bit of coconut sugar in my coffee in the morning, which I always talk about. Uh, those were the big, huge changes. No wheat whatsoever, none. Not, well, I have a little here, a little there. Um, people do that, and I think it's really hard for your uh, digestive system to heal and recover if you do that. And that's because we think some people may have allergies to wheat, but they were never diagnosed. Uh, if you do have an allergy to wheat, which is different than an autoimmune condition, celiac is an autoimmune condition, but there are a lot of people that are sensitive to and have mild allergies to wheat, but they never get diagnosed. Gas, bloating, upset stomach, a breakdown in the digestive tract, what we call leaky gut, uh, can sometimes be a symptom of a gluten intolerance. Um, so it ran in my family. I had two siblings that had celiac disease. Uh, one sibling who had severe uh, irritable bowel disease. Uh, well, he was ready to go into surgery, actually. Uh, and then he was diagnosed by a naturopathic doctor as also having a gluten uh, sensitivity, a gluten full-blown allergy. He was able to reduce his symptoms his uh, irritable bowel disease symptoms by 50% just because he gave up gluten. He had to do other things also, but just giving up the gluten uh, reduced his symptoms by about 50%. So I just decided to give it a try. I was very skeptical, um, but I gave, up, I gave up the gluten and within three weeks, I started to see the pain because I had a constant pain. Every time I would eat something, I would have digestive upset. Uh, the pain started to go away after about three weeks. 
Um, giving up the sugar also was uh, huge. I switched to the sugar-free uh, chocolates. You can get them made from stevia or made with xylitol. They sell them at Trader Joe's. I stick uh, some of those uh, chocolates in my freezer and then anytime I want a little something sweet, I'll go and get some of the sugar-free chocolates. The other thing that I really changed in my diet this month was I stopped eating meat, all meat, even fish. Um, I was gonna I was gonna let myself have fish uh, because it is high in omega threes, and if people choose to eat fish, I think that's fine. I personally, uh, I don't like the taste. I uh, I don't enjoy it. I'm I, I just I don't want to be eating animal products. So I substituted animal products for omega-3s like ground flax seeds, chia, hemp, hearts, walnuts, uh, foods that are uh, extremely high in omega-3s. Now those substitutes for fish are not gonna be equal because those contain ALA, alpha linoleic acid, but they don't contain EPA and DHA, which are the forms of the omega-3 that we see in uh, fish. But our body can make EPA and DHA from ALA. Okay. Uh, so if you eat a lot of, of flax and chia and walnuts, uh, fermented organic soybeans, uh, I do eat those, uh, then you're probably going to be okay. The best part about giving up gluten was that I can now eat foods that used to upset my stomach. I love hummus, but hummus doesn't like me. Uh, so after about three weeks, I experimented with having hummus, and I was happy to report that after giving up the gluten, I can enjoy hummus and, and uh, gluten-free crackers or uh, some brown rice crackers I can have it with, or veggies, and I, I don't have any of the, um, the upset. Uh, the other thing I would say about changing my diet, it was, which was whole foods, vegetarian, uh, I let myself occasionally have uh, some goat's yogurt. I do have a little goat's yogurt in my smoothie every morning. Some non-fat or low-fat uh, milk in my coffee every morning. Uh, but other than that, I'm uh, plant-based. I, I, everything else is plant-based. I'm okay with that. I'm, I don't think that I'm going to be 100% vegan uh, anytime soon. I may evolve into being 100% uh, plant-based vegan, but right now I'm very comfortable with, I'd say over 90% of my caloric intake is, is now plant-based with that 10% coming from a little bit of uh, low-fat dairy. So those were the changes I made. Uh, I feel really good. Uh, my digestion is healed about 80% at this point, and it was a really big issue. Um, it was a really big, it was, it was my, it, it was a, it was probably my worst health challenge was having really bad digestion. Um, and I think I'm just going to stay with this diet for, for a, a while, but you know, I may go vegan, but right now I'm just going to stick with this. Um, I've lost eight pounds. I think in three, four weeks, about eight pounds I lost. Not that Dr. Whimsy needed to lose a lot of weight, but I lost about eight, eight, eight pounds. Uh, so yeah, so I'm averaging about two to three pounds a week. And the, the resistant belly fat, if you're having trouble here, um, I can stand up and show you, uh, but uh, my stomach went, well, maybe I will. Um, but I went flat, so... That is what happens when you give up wheat. You wind up with, you wind up losing your belly fat. So that was also something that was really great about my diet. I gave up the wheat. A question that I got recently was, are all grains bad? Are all grains associated with belly fat? No, uh, quinoa, organic brown rice. Don't be afraid of brown rice. Uh, <laughs> the thinnest people in the world, uh, live in communities where they eat brown rice. So brown rice is your friend. Uh, you don't want to go crazy on anything, but brown rice, quinoa is absolutely fine. Kasha uh, is also good. Uh, if you feel like you need some animal products, I occasionally I'll take an egg white, but usually I don't. Um, and that's it. That's my new diet, uh, mostly plant-based. I started with the book Eat to Live by Joel Furman. 
uh, as my guidepost if you uh, want a great recommendation and got off all gluten. Uh, I feel good, I'm happy. Uh, lost about eight pounds, uh, going strong, and a lot of my symptoms went away, and my bloat and my belly fat went away, and uh, I'm real happy about that. The last thing I would say is that I am doing intermittent fasting. Uh, I don't eat after, uh, say, five or six o'clock, and uh, then I just give, and that's the time when the body heals, when the digestive tract heals, and when we let the stomach rest. Uh, so after around six, seven o'clock, you really don't want to eat. You just want the, the body to rest, the digestion to rest, and then in the morning, uh, I will have my smoothie. Uh, and that's it. That is my program. That is my new diet. And I'm very happy with the results. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I uh, hope that I inspired you if you are struggling uh, to clean up your diet as well. And uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, we'll talk to you next time. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.